Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3, part of the Kingdom Hearts Chronological Marathon. Bleach is, uh, a little busy right now, um, contemplating his life over playing this next Uh, unfortunately, this next world is so bad that Bleach started crying. Um... Fortunately for Bleach, the world after the all the worlds after these are pretty good. So if he can just complete this world, it'll be really, really fun and really cool. I mean, slightly better, but like, st st they're all still. They sure look a heck of a lot better than this next world. Um, <laughs> um, not only that, but um, once you get past this world, you don't really have to come back to this world. So once it's over, it's over. Oh no. Uh, that is, of course... Ah! Please do not make jokes about this next world. You're driving him away from this. Um, the only thing that would make come back is if I, had, if I missed, wanted to get any of the lucky emblem <laughs> um, to a treasure or such, but probably not. This is not a 100%, but... Um, I'm sure it's fine. You'll, you'll do, do great. It. You'll do great. You'll complete the world very quickly, and you, you will, it'll be over, and you'll never have to go back to this world. Probably. Uh, either way, yeah, let's just get this over with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but this will... And whoa, what's this new ship? Ooh, new ships. Yeah, admittedly, I kind of went a little nuts off screen in hunting down the constellations and most of the uh, blueprint crystals. I've saved most of the blueprint crystals here for me to get in so I can avoid accidentally triggering the some of the optional boss ones but yeah we kind of upgrade our gummy ship now early and i'm almost willing to say screw our custom build we're making because i am was thinking after touch with boktai that i'm not going to be able to make it fast enough for some of the optional bosses <laughs> yeah the keyblade from this world is neat as Kind it's of, neat design wise, it's kind but of overshadowed as it is by all the other keyblades, the I do like really like the design as well. Like that's the one thing I'd give it. Design wise, it's good. Stat and form wise, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, who needs Final Fantasy when you have this? Yep. Are you hey, just we, we go. a torpedo? I guess. Amazing. And we just fly up here, avoid that enemy right there as we fly up beyond here and head to the new world. But wait, we cannot go to a new world just yet without a gummy boss now, can we? Oh man, can you? Answer, no. <laughs> Even though this one's optional, we're still getting at least one gummy boss per main world. Oh, man. Yeah, this is the Ice Fortress, I believe it was called. The Glacial Fortress, close enough. Uh -huh. uh, this optional gummy boss is not that hard, in my opinion. It's not it has hard. a lot of lasers, it has a lot of enemies that fires at you, but... Overall, it will go down very easily. It's not hard at all, but I like seeing this this boss kind of like the um kind of like the extra final bosses of a uh, of Kingdom Hearts two that are also very easy, but are just really cool to like look at. Like when you're destroying the reactors and the uh, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh no, like, I'm not gonna deny it, it is a cool looking uh, boss, where, but it's not that hard. Oh, definitely not. For as much HP as it has, it's not that hard, and that's usually my 
one of my gripes with Kingdom Hearts. When a boss doesn't feel that hard and it has way too much HP. Mm. People know before I played the level 1 crew, Nakuma would run a KH2 FM. I had gripes with many bosses in KH2 because of that. For, gum for gummy bosses like this, I think it's fine that they have a lot of HP. Because it's... It feels more like you're destroying a fortress than not. I mean, that is <laughs> here as well. Final, final says, and then yeah. you have other bosses from page 2 level 1. That's right, away with you! Uh, yeah, but some of those actually... Well, actually, Uki's the only real offender of the HP amount on that, I think. <laughs> yeah, just destroy the heads, and then you can go straight for the core. Oh, man. Just a direct downward, and this will instantly finish him off if you can do enough. Thank God we have auto firing lasers that once we lock on. Oh man! As you, as you drive straight into the laser. <laughs> well, that's why I have the triple ducks to protect me. Yeah. Okay, just trying to navigate through this ice maze as we head to Arendelle. <laughs> I unfortunately don't remember that quote. Yeah, I think the combination I have, the gum shit combination with the gummy ship I'm using is actually pretty powerful. It unfortunately limits you to no additional fire via the Tina ship, but Oh my god, the lock on fires it has is really good. <laughs> Jafar. Okay. Oh, right. KH2 Jafar, right. Makes sense. I never really uh, listened to what he had to say. Didn't like him very much. <laughs> He's kind of an underwhelming fight in all the games. Only KH2 them had a bad fight. The other fights are kind of boring. Uh huh. It's cold. It's Donald. Ah, I see. It might be just a run that way. Guess he's too used to the beach. <laughs> hey, Islander, what can I say? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Look, even the in. Note for the teeny ship hips being good with it that have lock on. I would recommend stuff that you can just hold down the fire button and just auto fires. If you have a lock on that requires you to let go of the fire button, that's kind of a disadvantage for it. Or at least to me. I'm sure there's some situations it's good, but most of the time I say I like auto fire. Uh huh. I don't remember well enough to have my opinion on it. Mm. But uh, once I play again, I, then I sh I could probably get. I will say, on it. I will say, other note for the HP, she nothing so beats the too much HP Days has. <laughs> that's a very that that's a very specific thing, though. You, Kirby, I really hate you for that right now. <laughs> uh... So, this world, I'm going to have to in advance because I really do not I like this happened. world. I'm going to attempt Maybe the avoiding was... limit spam, we but I might her. get forced mm. into it. When I first played this in critical mode, this was the world that forced me into limit spam. There's also the place where you can't use those. That's going to suck. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. Oh, I know what you're 
That's the part I think I got the most game overs in this world, and I really hate that part. I was almost willing to rage quit the game. Honestly, I could see getting the most game overs in the game in that spot. So yeah, um, I believe, I don't remember, I think it was like 10 game overs at the beginning. I think we got two on oh, uh, Twilight Town, three on Hunchback. I lost count for Monsters, but I think it was three as well. We only had one for Corona, so yeah, people, get ready to have your count. It's ready for how many times I'm. No, 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 that's not save there. That's the wrong save. That's my <laughs> new game plus one. That'd be that'd be pretty bad. Lose all the fun I'm having on that. At. <laughs> Okay, Rock Titan's not that bad. It's more so I got annoyed if I had to fight him again. <laughs> oh man. After you had beat him too. Yeah. But. Yeah. So. One of the first things I'm gonna say already that's bad about this world. Some of the enemy choices. Some yeah. of them you might be familiar with, like the water guys from... I believe they first appeared in Monstropolis and these Parasol Heartless. Which are new but, to this world, right? No, they first appeared in Corona. Ah, uh, so, okay. Soldiers always first appear at the beginning of the game, of but... Course. Some of these enemy choices are kind of bad with this world because of how the layout is and most of them have pretty quick projectile spamming as you saw there I got close to death and could barely get around to avoid it yeah I'm just gonna do this and just hopefully a night fast oh bling. well for once I'm the one that healed <laughs> after Donald healed me. Wow. Thank you, Donald. You're being a lifesaver in this world right now. <laughs> Thank you. I think Donald won. No, it's the I th it is the same type of Parasol Heartless. It's pro it just has different stats. Because it's obviously it's a different world. So it's a different variant. <laughs> Technically, yes, but... Te but it doesn't register in the journal, is my point, as yeah. a different variant. Yeah, but it's a different variant. It's sort of like of how you can think there's multiple variants of one type of enemy in other RPGs that are just stronger in different dungeons or uh, field. Yeah. All those different variants. <laughs> you know, that is a good word for it, regardless. I'm just... I'm maybe trying to explain it a bit more than I should. <laughs> but that comes with my nature, because, let's be honest, you know me, I've played RPGs since I was a kid. First RPG game, Pokemon Yellow. Oh, man. Speaking of Pokemon, I'm so glad they added the ability to skip tutorials, catching tutorials. In the new one. Meaning sword and shield. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure when I'll get that because I don't have a switch yet. But I might get a switch by Christmas. Might not. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. As always, you can just get a switch light if you want. Well, that's what I meant. Either yeah. a switch or a switch light. Not a switch pro. <laughs> and if people are gonna ask. Uh, What's my ID so they can play with, with Nintendo Online? I'm gonna unfortunately say right here, right now, I'm one, not giving that way, and two, not getting Nintendo Online because I'm sorry, it does not offer enough bang for my buck to me, despite its low price. What, what, what other way should I say it, dude? Uh, Nintendo Online sucks. I could say that. <laughs> oh, and ah, these new guys, these. Oh, man. 
These guys suck, these deer. <laughs> could just fire them. Oh wait, I can't while well, in Agile Claws. Ah. Oh god. It's the second time I went into rage form. <laughs> Oosh. I never even knew uh, Agile Claws had a KH2 type of fire. I mean, so does Hyper Hammer. I didn't know that either. Hyper Hammer has this... this... Basically, Blitz form either fires it as a projectile or does the KH2 style of fire. Hmm. Uh, not Blitz form. Strike form, that's with the one that Agile Claws and Hyper Hammer. Hyper Hammer use. As well as one other keyblade that we won't get for a while. And it's not in this world, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Oh, trust me, I would have I would have been okay if it was in this oh, one but world, but uh, I'm gonna be honest. I almost feel this world's keyblade should have been an elemental form keyblade <laughs> instead of the new form we're gonna get. Wait. Oh man, treasure chest. The Damascus. Oh man, probably oh, useless. Good. <laughs> the moment you finally attack it, a deer comes up from behind you and charges you. Amazing. Don't say. Uh, oh wait, it actually happened. That's what. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the yo-yos. I love the yo-yos. I'm trying to just take out the one's causing the most trouble yeah. as quickly as I can. Potion! Oh, yeah. So wait, let's get three for one. Goodbye to you. No. Oh, hello, there you are. I was looking for you, buddy. <laughs> Oh wow, Dawn Freezing Ice enemies, the pure irony of that. <laughs> yep. Are they all gone? Nope, there's one more. How are you? I have no idea how that one was still alive. Oh, there's another one that was still alive. Stupid parasol oh, ones. Just... You missed. No, they were up here on this like little hill while I was fighting them over here. That's like I don't know how they were managing to survive it without me getting aware that they were there. That's what uh, I was trying to say. Okay. Maybe they moved to that location. Is that or they just spawned? Maybe. Yeah, and we have yet to see more of the types that are not so good he here, but we're getting there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are. But the deer are probably the most annoying of all the enemies here, I'm gonna be blunt. And there are certain certain circumstance, I would say one is more annoying. But, uh, yeah, I believe that. Well, no, just me. I don't like many of the enemies here. Like, the water versions of the Blue Rhapsody the, uh, the Spellcaster Heartless who is in this 
uh, world. I don't mind them as much in Monstropolis because most of the time you fight them in pretty closed quarters that you can easily manage uh -huh. them. You know what's Here really is a lot more. Oh, what? Um, before you finish that, when you got that uh, treasure chest with the mini game in it, you could have gone up the wall that you had just gone down. It was a travers traversable wall. Nah, I forgot <laughs> that. I just I'm lost above right here, basically. <laughs> but uh, what were we gonna say? Here it's a lot more open, so they can easily <laughs> snipe you while you're distracted. Acted. You can't easily ca crowd control them even with arrow. Ah. Where did you come from? Hi, I'm Sora, and I. Uh, I'm from. Let's just say, someplace a little warmer. I'm from outer space. And I'm goofy. <laughs> Are you visiting Arendelle for the coronation? Huh? Uh. Um, yeah, you might as well say yes. Uh, you got us. <laughs> so, what's your name? <laughs> also, oh, little I spoiler okay. here, this is the only interaction that you're going to have what? with this character. The queen? Huh. You should yeah. be out here. Please go back Sounds to about the right. Village. Why? Your Majesty, you look like you could use a friend. Don't you want to talk? Please leave. I need to be alone. I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh. Is it that bad? You must have been through a lot. Yeah, sure, adventure is fun, but it definitely has its ups and downs. I don't know how to compare the Parasol Heartless in this world to. Corona, but maybe you can. Exactly. Wait, what now? The parasol do heartless that line, fire the so lasers compared to, to them here in where they first appear in Corona. No. Maybe it's because Corona's all uh, where they appear in Corona. It's a lot more enclosed as well. There's no. barely some open parts. Uh huh. And even then, it's not uh, too bad. Had to take cover quickly. The heartless. Would you agree with that if you, with what you barely remember? Don't worry, we got him. Take Sorry, cover. I was looking them up. What was that? Of how would you feel they are? we are compared to. Um, I honestly completely forgot they were in Corona at all. That's where they first appear. Yeah. But like I'm saying, I I I completely don't remember them at all. So they were uh, unmemorable for me there. That's fine. Oh jeez. But yeah, you not only have to deal with the deer, you have to deal with this guy right here. Yep, yep. As final says, remember the rock roll. He's back. I'm going to say this honestly, take care of the deer first. They are your bigger threat. If you need to link spam to clear them, do so, but try to avoid going for the troll until all of them are gone. Because <laughs> especially since he's going to do that now already. Oh boy. Yep, there he goes. Oh jeez. Let's actually not use Rage Form and try to use this. To easily eat away his help. Hey, there you go. Like I said, <laughs> Mirage Staff is a boss killer. Yep. And I double potioned on accident. I'm sure it's fine. Time up. But 
That still worked. Yeah, this does really Look good at that damage. As well. It's so nice. And it doesn't matter. It does. Well, I guess it kind of does, but it doesn't really matter where uh, where the enemy is because it just kind of hits them. It homes into your nearest locked on of the enemy if you don't have. Yeah. Hey, you want to do this again? So yeah, this is a new feature that the Rock Troll does. As a note, he will put armor on himself, and you will have to deplete a separate bar to actually go for his main HP again, or wait out his armor. I would easily say just break the armor bar, because it leaves him more open for an attack. Of course, if you're unsure that you can break it, then waiting is always an option, as you've mentioned. Yep. He's a little bit trickier than your first experience with him in Olympus here, mainly due to small arena and the ice deer. <laughs> but he's about as okay? easy as you can get I... still. I'm sorry, I was oh so yeah, upset. I bet he's a lot tougher at level Thank one. You for your <laughs> I have no doubt about that, honestly. I dread doing this world at level 1, which is why I'm hoping after the remarrying DLC that there's a patch to hopefully make it easier. Yeah. At least nerf links or get rid of the half damage or I don't know. I know there's probably some damage scaling like in Keech two of him you but make a better before. damage scaling please <laughs> Monsters that are after I don't like hearts. half da Wherever dealing half go, damage they're after uh, people's uh, hearts on a higher difficulty yes, they're dangerous yeah you should head home before it gets any worse it's a big turn off for, for me for action RPGs I don't want to hurt anyone which is I mean fair <laughs> what Arendelle is safer with me staying up here not safer for you. Yeah. And that ends our interaction well, with Elsa for good. Yeah, basically. Please, go away. Notice how Zora. So, Zora. Uh, I. Zora. Don't no worry. Show me your yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, she <wants> she <laughs> strong. That's true. Yeah, go. She wants to be alone. Yeah, I hear you. But I just wanted to know why she was so sad. And how is it any of your business? Huh? Well, by the way, guess who's back as well? Oh, yeah. The bitch. Who are you? That's the organization code. You knew? <gasps> Excuse me? Oh, yeah. You forgot. The name's Larkseen. Pretty great. This time, remember, and we'll take care of Elsa. <laughs> Versus 13 so was a cage game all along. Thanks, Final. So, yeah. Notice how Sora actually got nothing what? from the well, she seems to think she knows experience us, with Elsa. So maybe we should play along. Not unless her name's Tara. Excuse me, I'm uh -huh. right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the one Elsa? organization member no of the original organization's routine that many disliked. Stay here and Mainly because she was made to dislike. Yeah, Please yeah. Fight. People disliked her because that's her whole purpose. <laughs> well, there's some people that like her because they say she was the only girl of the group. And I'm like, uh, that's not enough for me. If, it, if she's a bit of a character, I'm still going to hate her. <laughs> Wait, the ice! It's going to wall us in! Ice is so not my style. <laughs> Luxine! Also, I'm going to just say this right here with what's happening next. Notice how she just used the ice to imprison us here, and now, instead of being like in a 
tomb of ice <laughs> chunks that we probably have to break out somehow. How the hell did we end up in something like this? What well, logic well, is there? Oh yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. You can't use well, magic out of this here. one. Oh yeah. There's no. no bullshit. Oh, you know. Word of God. No, no, no dude, Thanks you no know word. that. I know, I know you're joking there, but you know, as well as I do, this one makes no sense. There we go. There's your answer. Final says Larxene is secretly the most powerful organ. No, that's, that's even more bullshit. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I, I, will, I will also agree with she's the good type of hateable. I... I also think that way in in Chain of Memories, unlike you, Kirby. Oh, I do agree with that as well, but it still doesn't mean I just greatly dislike her. <laughs> and I want to beat her up in any game I'm in. Final says, remember your level one fight with her? Uh, that was the biggest nightmare I was afraid of. <laughs> because she was so hard at level one. She was so freaking fast. Larxene is actually a JoJo character. Thank you. But this is where I'm going to actually discuss the main thing I'm going to see right now, and we're going to see a bit more of the story hopefully as we progress. I easily, easily greatly feel that what the story we got in Cage 3 for this world was not Nomura's original vision. Oh yeah. I know there's been a lot of theories, and I great Honestly, I don't trust the theories, but I do trust any sources they say that came from Nomura's mouth himself, but the theories of what they felt it could have been, I don't trust. I just know, plain and simple, whatever Nomura's original idea was, we did not get it. Yep. Honestly, I wish I could have. We could know. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot that these electric ones are kind of bad in here, too. Oh, yeah. But yeah, uh. We all agree that this is, uh. This world is pretty soulless. And yeah, that's. that's that's where my belief goes, same as you, Kirby. Cause yeah, that's pretty much the main thing I'm going to say here. Like, Nomura has confirmed that uh, they got input from uh, put and feedback of what to do for some of the worlds from Disney themselves as... Unlike the past games, many of the teams are still alive and active, so they got a lot of do and don'ts. I'm going to say this right now, the Pixar actually wanted the stories to be like historical oh, documentaries or like historical sequels, more accurately. Mm -hmm. Which that is cool enough, I'd say. There's a lucky emblem already. Thank you. The fewer lucky emblems we get, the better. Now, Corona was much better than this. I think whoever put the restrictions for Corona who offered him a little bit more freedom despite having him default for the movie's plot. Yeah. Heck, even the next the world after this one doesn't feel that bad, honestly. 
in terms of the, whatever the restrictions they have. But the funny thing is, the next world some people felt is worse than this. I Definitely. disagree. I mean, I honestly really like the next world. I mean, I can get some people's issues with the next world gameplay-wise, but oh god, these guys. Yeah. I can get some of their complaints gameplay-wise, but story-wise, no, I... No, not... Story-wise and gameplay was I can get, but they're not as bad, I guess, to me, is what I'm actually trying to say. I got a little yeah. focused on this guy here. Which is fair, this, uh, this place can be a little rough. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. This... Roll I here. Now you can see why I w hopefully now with critical mode you can see why I felt I was forced to link spam here. I mean, look at me, I have not used a link yet, and even now I'm still struggling at level thirty. Given the fact that um that this is all one area. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this is one area, so if I die I'm gonna have to Start from the beginning of this one, mm -hmm. unless I hit, hit a save point. This world suffers a lot from the. Okay, this is all one area. Thing. And there's barely, barely any checkpoints. Yeah, as final says, there is a save point eventually, but yeah, and with what you Kirby says. I like the boss of this world a lot more than Peach does, but both of us agree that we like the uh, mid boss more. The mid boss. Well, I wouldn't say I like the mid boss more. Um, I like them about equally. I like the mid boss more because he feels actually like how a cage boss should be. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're coming to the enemy I know that you hate more. Say hello to Lark oh, Scenes, yeah. exclusive nobody. <laughs> I oh, forget their yeah. names, because they, like her, they are so hateable. Yep. Watch the nobody symbol, because that's when that thing's going to come out and pierce you. Oh jeez. And there's an example of why there's another example of why they're bad. Oh god, <laughs> these guys suck. Yeah. Speaking of the best Fortnite player, a little fact some people won't know unless they watch this show is he actually appeared on the Masked Singer. I could, you know, when some of the clues were like saying like he was YouTube, he was like an internet celeb, I was like trying to think, okay, uh, what internet celebs do I know that could possibly sing up? Markiplier, uh, uh, Proton John can't. Chugga, hell no, he's tone deaf, but I would recognize it if he it did come on here. Um, I can't think of much others. And I did not expect a ninja because I didn't even know who ninja... Well, I heard of him, but I didn't even watch his stuff was my point. Uh -huh. we can get through now. Which is something I think you could say for some of the other internet subs I mentioned. You've heard of them and you know who they are. You just haven't watched their stuff. Yep. Yeah, just, just jump and dash. <laughs> That's the best way I say you can handle avoiding those spikes. And jump and dash, man. Uh, if 
I like taking this slow because, oh my god, this world is not fun. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm being going to be honest here. I'm not letting my dislike for this world get to me uh, to me because I don't like the movie. Like, I will admit, there are fans who like the movie and that's, uh, people that like the movie and that's fine. I don't really see it as good as people are making it out to be or people claiming it's the next Lion King. I disagree on that part. And I think there's movies personally handling stuff better than Frozen did, but hey, I mean, if people like it, that's fine. It's just not my movie. I think everything about the movie is fine, except for that one part. <laughs> I don't know which one part you mean, but I'm going to also say I feel the antagonist is kind of weak. Well, Motus yeah. might be alright, but he's a very weak antagonist to me. So what were you saying that by one part? Yeah, basically. Oh, you you were talking about the antagonist, which yeah. is very weak. <laughs> it's it's that one part because anyone who's seen it knows what that one part is. It's kind of my thing with being with it that I can agree on some people that's known as the her surprise her out of nowhere antagonist. You kind of have to do it. Right, there needs to be clues or, or it needs to make sense connection-wise to all the characters. Like, example being Coco. Its surprise antagonist actually works. You may not see it coming, but it actually works connection-wise. I still need to watch that movie. Oh, that it's Moana. good. Well, Moana's not Pixar, but Moana's also good. I mean, but Moana's still a movie that needs to see. That's... Yeah, I know. Heck, I would even say Moana technically does not have an intact. Yeah. Thank goodness, technically, but it has a surprise that I really like. Mm -hmm. Also, what was that thank you for you, Kirby? I'm not sure what that thank you is for. Are you already a stupid thing? Oh, Joy, we got upgrade to Thundara. Oh man. Lamb, here's the one save point you get here. Let's first see what we have here. Wisdom ring, sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, on the Frozen movie? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Like, that's just my thing. I don't like it. I think it's still pretty weak. I think it's not as good as people make it out to be, but I don't hate it. If people like it, that's fine. They see something in it that they love and think is great that I cannot. Yeah. Also, hello. Stupid. Hey there, Sturm. <laughs> uh, I will always approve of puns. As much as uh, H will disapprove of them. That spin trick you did should work again. I don't know if there's another lucky emblem here or not. I I think not. Oh wait, no, there is. I see. A... I see you there. What did I already get you? I already got you. Ah. I think this world has one of the fewest lucky emblems. With, of course, the one of the fewest lucky emblems being. 